the small chihuahua. So, everything's happening behind the scenes. Our team, the Hello, is going to show you and see whether she can repeat a clear round. She's off and running with her dog, Gloss. Brave seven dog, rescued me from Ireland. And uh, not only a very uh, accomplished competitor, but probably commentators first, but also judges' agility as well. Gloss is a say at grade seven. And uh, okay. very enthusiastic and set the pace. There you go, check it in there. 28.636 pounds with a uh, uh, gloss. English swinger, cross German pointer, next hand and line to hand up. Keeper the dog. Hopefully, we're going to get a little bit ahead. It's our first season to beat in agility, so what normally happens if you've got a that you've had a new dog before, then you have to go in at grade three, which is what this dog is. And you can see big signals from Hannah to help the dog as much as possible. But uh, obviously all the equipment. And uh, here they are, there. Oh, you have to really finish, Steve. Come on, now put the hands together, get this last one. Yeah, there we go. And you might have noticed if we don't mind at the top what they agreed about it, because we've got a box of heads, this is Paul and Emma. So Emma Paul's first version is gone. And also there's the Paddy Cross, which is where you run and the dog tells you. Now Emma is a bit of a character, and this morning she sat a couple of the A-frame, but uh, looks like she's got more focused on what Paul wants to do. And uh, not often you see what's up, doing agility as well as this. They're working at grade four at the moment, which is on the way to join the big boys. Very nice to see the way you finish on the back end of the dog, really, really nicely. Can we get four to come home and look at the time? 25, 376 to Paul and Ella. Corrie Byron Bay walking in the ring now. This is uh, Hannah Prince. And again, with James Bruce, this is what they call it healthy. This is what the Australians use to uh, look after the cattle and the sheep. And as you can see, their dog just uh, getting away with it. Hannah's not having any of that. So uh, at this level, we are able to put the dog back and reinforce it to like what it is we want the dog to do. Just making contact with a little bit of the light, with a little bit of the dog is what you've got to do to make sure that the dog doesn't do any faults. Obviously, in normal circumstances, this is going at speed. Ruby uh, is working at grade four at the moment, and on the top, some of the top dogs are going as fast as Bradley Wiggins on the bike. And that's how we come to score Just a very full arm dog in looks like. And uh, you're going to see that in a second. Really goes what they call traditional black and white in the dog world. Now the only difference between a border collie and a working sheep dog, the border collie does not he's not the dad is, a working sheep dog may not. Now if you're a youngster and you don't understand that, you're going to ask your mum, okay? As you can see, Terry's got a fair part to see with the stars, another of the time, 24 for our summer, and Susie. As I say, get all sorts of dough, mine and Jimson Merle. Here we go with Colin Cross Greyhound, Colin Peel, and Hanlon, and Milo the dog. Now Milo is working at grade five, and although he was very, very small when he was a pup, boy, look at him there. If it spins, spin is not an issue for this dog. It's just where the collie knows where he's going and also where Milo takes any notice. So he's really, really well with the garden. Look at that. 10 foot takes on his own for Colin and Milo. Terry Gill's walking green now with her 
raised by Dr. Murphy. Now Murphy is what they call a strolly. That's a coal and a string of spaniel mixed together. And I'm saying, in the agility world, Chesapeake is staying healthy dogs. We don't mind what they look like, we want them for their brains, we want them to take notice of what we're asking them to do, and the great partnership between the handler and the dog is what we're looking for, just like the show there today. So what we want to do is the partnership kind there. As you can see, the uh, all the other faces are all just held together very, very casually with the plastic cups so that we can minimise the point of impact on any of the dogs just to potentially bring the cold down or anything else like that. We look out at the tunnel, so we've got Sue busy walking the ring now with her seven, grade 7 dog called Will. Will be, would you believe, Sue's seventh agility dog? And uh, he's five years old. He's been to most finals, including Olympia, which is the, if you like, the zenith of the most agility careers that get to Olympia is what people spend their whole summers trying to do. And uh, as you can see, Will, great experiment, 28.091 for the time for Sue and Will.